So, hello guys. This is a paper crane. It's made of just a square sheet of paper. You can use printer paper or origami paper. So, at the end of this video, I'll be telling you a legend behind this crane. It's a Japanese legend. So, I'm going to start with the video right now. So, I'm going to start by making a square. So, I'm going to take this right left hand corner and bring it down to make this square. You should just see it as a triangle. If you have an origami paper, you can use the white side up. So, we are going to take this, turn it over, fold this backward, and crease it until you can see the edge. And I'm just going to rip it off, that excess bit. We don't need this bit, we're gonna, I'm just going to put it aside. Okay, now I'm going to open up my paper. We have a diagonal line running through the middle. So we're going to create the diagonal in the opposite direction. So bring this corner and crease it with the bottom. You want to make very sharp creases. Open it up. Now we have a cross. So we're going to create the plus. So we're going to fold it in half. Open it up. Rotate. And fold it in half in the other direction. And crease. So next, we're going to make something which is called the square base. So I'm going to hold on this and this corner. So bring it into a half. Now I'm going to hold these two corners. Press them. When you bring them into the center, you see four, there are now four flaps. Bring one flap to the right and the other flap to the left. So once you brought the right, one flap to the right and one flap to the left, it really doesn't matter which flap you bring to which side. So once that's done, you should have a two, one square on the front side and one square on the back side. So next we're going to make the a shape which is sort of called like a rhombi or rhombus in full form. So you see the central crease. So I'm going to bring this edge to the central crease to create something which looks like one fourth of a rhombi and we're going to do the same on the other side so once we do the same on the other side we're going to just turn the paper over right to left and we're going to be doing it on the other side so once we've done that on the other side it should look like the 1 by 2 of a rhombi. The 1 by 2 of a rhombi is just the bottom half of the rhombi shape. So once that's done, it looks just like the bottom half. So you see this top? We're just going to bring it down and crease it. And we're going to turn it over, bring it down in the opposite direction and crease it. So now we are going to open up this flap, this flap, turn it over right to left and this flap and this flap. So now we are going to make the rhombi shape. So we are going to open up this side and as you see as you open it this, this edge comes in. So we have the creases already made so we don't have to make any now. We just have to press them against the folds. This, you have to make the sharp creases very sharp. Now you have a rhomboid on one side. 
and the other side it's just a normal square. So we are going to make this exact same rhomboid on that square. So we are going to turn it over. Do the same thing here. See guys, I am just going to bring it up. Up and more up until these two corners come in so they automatically come in you just want to press them against the folds that are already made when we folded the two edges to make the one by four of the wrong body that's why they created this fold if you hadn't done that it would be, it would have been practically very difficult to do this right now Okay, so now we have a rhomboid on both sides. As you see, one side doesn't do nothing. It just opens like this. The other side, it moves like two legs. So now, we are going to open this right, right hand pocket. Here. Just turn it over like a page. Take this bottom flap and fold it up. Crease it. And we're just going to turn that page over again. So now the one fourth of the romba is gone. We need to make this other fourth disappear. So we're just going to lift this. We're going to take this page, fold it upward, and just turn that page over. Now it's just a normal triangle. Now we can see one triangle here and one triangle here if we lift this. So we are going to pull both of the triangles out. Just press the bottom part of it. Now we are going to pull this triangle also out. So now to make this head and the tail. So to make the head all you have to do is just open the side and take as much as you need and just press it down to create the beak and flatten and now the tail just is ordinary we're just going to leave it like that so to make the wings we're going to take this bird wing and fold it down and crease it if you want your bird's wings to be very strong, you can make it like, you can uh, make your creases here a bit lighter, not a very sharp. Now once that's done, we're going to rotate right to left. And now we have the base triangle here. We're going to take this triangle and make sure that it meets the bottom triangle. And just fold it nice. And once that's done, we've got to lift it up so it's now a 3D model. And we're just going to put our hand at the bottom, like here, and just push those two up. So now it looks like this. So now I'm going to tell you guys about that legend I was talking about. So, during a time in Japan, there was a bombing going on. There was actually a bombing going on in that peak time. There was this uh, girl, she was 12 years old. She got a disease which was named leukemia and she was admitted in the hospital. When she was admitted in the hospital, she remembered a story she had heard that if a person completed a thousand cranes in a year's time, God will grant them he or she's wish. So, this, the girl believed in the legend and started folding 100 crane, 1000 cranes. So, when she was at a 655th crane, she got so weak she couldn't fold anymore. So, when she got too weak, she uh, eventually she died because of the disease. So, when she died, her friends volunteered to make finished the other 300 cranes for her so she could complete her wish when 
so the the her friends completed the other 300 cranes in her memory so guys i'll meet you in the next video bye